Are you saying that Mr. Gérard's decision to sign this contract could actually harm Quebec City's chances of getting the Nelze back? Well, you know what, this morning when uh, when I heard that Mr. Gérard was coming in front of you, I was, I was hopeful because uh, I was thinking that Mr. Gérard would come and you know rectify, rectify the situation. And not only did he didn't rectify it, but uh, he proved that uh, he didn't have a clue of uh, of, of why of, uh, the Quebecers uh, were uh, unanimous against that decision. Uh, he responded to a question of if if he had regrets in that nego negotiation, and he said that his regret was uh, he should have paid uh, between two and five million dollars. And the fact is that there's not a single dollar of the citizens should have been invested in that uh, in that uh, in that event. That's that that's the that's the problem here. But he, his argument, yeah. well, one of his arguments yeah. was that you know taxpayers are already paid for the Videotron Center yeah. to be built. Uh, it needs to be filled again. This yeah. will help that happen. What do you say to that? Well, you know what he, he talked. You know. Uh, um, Miss, uh, Miss Sonia Labelle said a few days ago, she talked about um, amalgam. I'm sorry about uh, not saying in English. But what we heard today with Mr. Girao, which he made a lot of those, a lot of those um, saying uh, about the, the, the world championship hockey, mm -hmm. the world championship for women also, which are big events, which are big events, which puts this, uh, this city on the map. Uh, talk about the, 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 the Pee Wee tournament, which generates about $14 million with an investment of 250 k you know? These are big events that brings people uh, uh, here in Quebec, but I didn't hear, I didn't hear not a single figure by the minister about what will be the money coming in from the outside in Quebec City. I didn't hear a figure. That's a problem. Telling us that um, when you did such preseason games, exhibition yeah. games, uh, the the cities that you visited, the, or, the, or the public, the, the taxpayers were not paying for those fees. Can you tell us about that? How you you, well, pay, well, you, you covered your own hotel bills and all that. The team, the paid, team. Paid for everything. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, to, to to my knowledge, and I talked to uh, to to, to uh, um, the people, the general manager that I had in the past, so we, I talked about Phil Esposito, and I, I said, Phil, you know, because we went to, in Vienna, you know, in Austria one year, and for a week with the Buffalo Sabres, and I asked him, I said, uh, he goes, they, they, they contacted me, and they wanted me to go there, uh, private uh, company, they said, you know what, uh, why don't you guys come down here, we want to bring some NHL games, and, uh, and he said, that's fine, and he paid his own way, he paid the way, and the Tempe Line paid our own way there, and the only thing he asked, of course, when you're a businessman, you don't want to lose money, in a venture like that, so he said, you know what? What I'm asking is that we split uh, the, uh, the the money from the people paying for the game, and that's what he did. And that, split the box exactly, he split the box office, and that's that's how he got uh, you know he got the, his money back, where he made a little bit of money, but none of that money came from the public. So the taxpayers should not be paying to put. Um, LA, uh, three hockey teams up in fancy Quebec City no, hotel. Not in the business where you have billionaires. Mm. You don't do that. You don't do that. I mean, it's the, the responsibility of the NHL, the NHL clubs, to go around, to go around and to, uh, to present what they have, you know, because it's a part of the education also. It's like the Montreal Canadiens. It's their responsibility to go around the, the province of Quebec, you know, to, to, to teach kids, to show kids, you know, the example. You know, it's a business, and they want to sell some shirts too, you know, apparel. So. It's a part of the business, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be uh, the citizens who pay one dollar. One dollar is too many. What are you asking Mr. Gérard to do today? Well, you want to... You wanna... Oh, we can go, we can go. Well, yeah, you want to... The, the motion? Yeah, we will have a motion this uh, Wednesday. Yet. So, uh, we will give them another chance. So, I think there is no more solidarity inside this caucus. That's why he came today to say that he's okay to use the public money. But like since uh, last week, we saw so many ministers and MNAs, they are saying to the public, you know, it's bad time. It's not the good, the right thing to do. So we, we will ask all the MNAs, including the CACs MNAs, to say no to Mr. Girard and like to resign and to use this public money for something else. We have so many things to do with this uh, 8 million.